It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week we talk about PlayStation VR, give our thoughts on WWE Roadblock, and talk about the road to WrestleMania. What's up guys, welcome to episode 7 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me as always is Finn. Hello! How's it going buddy? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Good, good. Um, a lot to talk about today. Uh, mainly wrestling stuff, so if you're a big gamer, this may not be the episode for you. We've sorry. got a few little bits at the beginning. Yes. Um, let's start with uh, what we're playing at the minute. Finn, what are you playing at the minute? Um, I'm playing a mix of The Division um, and Just Cause 3. Just Cause 3, massive, massive game. Um, I think last so time, big. It's so big. And last time we asked me on the podcast, I was playing Just Cause 3 as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how long it's taken me to beat, beat yeah, it. Yeah, sure. I want, I want that platinum trophy. <laughs> and yeah, there's lots to do. Um, and Division, of course, um, I love it. It's not. It's kind of had mixed reviews. Um, I really like it. I know you really like it as well. Yeah, I um, like it a lot. A little 22 at the minute. Haven't played it like extensively, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like the world. I like the atmosphere. Mm. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm really loving the division as well. Uh, I'm level 22, the same as you at the minute. Nice. Um, I think I've put around 26 hours in, and still don't really feel like I've scratched the surface because the environment and everything is just so big, and yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a great looking game. It's a good single player experience. It's a good multiplayer experience. Um, it's got it all. Um, yeah, I'm, so I'm playing that at the minute. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, EA Sports UFC 2 as well, nice. um, which at first I didn't really uh, like. Uh, I didn't think it was much different to the first game, but I've now played a few more hours of it, put a bit more time into it. Um, yeah, I like it. It's, it's good. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. Gonna be the graphics are uh, it's, it's beautiful to look at. It's yeah, yeah. such a, a, a good looking game. Um, I wish that the WWE games had that level of presentation. Yeah, I do as well. The um, WWE games are fine. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with them. But, um, just sometimes the character models don't look all that great. Um, some of them look amazing. Other ones just kind of look like they half assed it a bit. <laughs> just like, little things like the, the ring announcing. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, Bruce Buffer on the UFC game is animated to perfection and the voice work that he's done for the game is is remarkable it's like it's, it's like being at a ufc event or watching wow. a ufc event on tv nice so um, 2k should take notice <laughs> yeah definitely. of the presentation of this game and uh but yeah it's, it's good it's good fun yeah it looks like fun. um i'm not much of a ufc guy personally but uh, uh, I, i'm not I, I mean i'm not a uh I'm not watching it on whatever channel it's on. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, Is it even on the channel? Who knows? I think it's on BT, Is BT it? Sport, yeah. All right, better. I, I follow <laughs> results online and stuff, but I, I don't know enough about it to really sort of get into a conversation with anyone about yeah. it. But, we're yeah. wrestling guys. Exactly, yeah. I think, um, we like, I think our like, audience knows that. We're wrestling guys, right? So, yeah. We, pretend, we like pretend fighting. <laughs> um, and nobody gets hurt, except everybody gets hurt. Yeah, exactly. Except when everybody yeah. gets hurt all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you'll notice that um, you can actually see us doing this podcast now. Yes, you're watching on YouTube, not yes. on not SoundCloud. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you won't done. be able to see us on SoundCloud, but we thought we'd try something different. We thought we'd, um, yeah, we thought you know we'd let you see what we look like doing this podcast. So we're at Finn's little little pad, little pad, which is awesome. Oh, the pad. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so we thought we'd film it, see. Well, what else we could do with it? Yeah, so that's, that's cool. We're fun. Yeah, we're branching out. Exactly. Yeah, we're broadening <laughs> our horizons. <laughs> so, because um, right now, if I, I, I upload it on YouTube, it's like a static image, which is kind of boring. No one even wants to look at that. Yeah, sure. Um, so, you might have taught myself, you might not have yeah. something to look at while you listen to our podcast. So, instead of uh, looking at a a boring static image, you get to see us. Yeah. Moving around and talking. Yeah, like, I spent a lot of work like humans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I spent a lot of work making that boring. boring yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, okay, so the big news, I guess, gaming-wise, uh, over the last week or so, um, PlayStation VR has been announced. Yes, with a price. With a price. We did touch on this in our last podcast. Um, we talked about sort of there being a press event, and what we were hoping to get out of it was the price uh, and a release date. Yes. Uh, we have a price. We don't. We had. We have a release window. Yes. What was it? In the October, November. October. Yeah. Yeah. October. Okay. That's pretty cool. Not October two thousand sixteen. So that's good. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. We did make some bets as to what the price would be. Um. I bet. 
around 450 pounds. Uh, Sunny completely nailed it and said 330 pounds. Uh, so Sunny won this bet. That's a point for Sunny. Whatever that means. Ding. <laughs> it'll mean something. Yeah, <laughs> it'll mean something at the end of the year, probably. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, there was also another bet we made last podcast, um, which we don't know the answer of yet. Which was uh, obviously um, what happens to Nathan Drake at the end of Uncharted Four. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did he die? Doesn't he die? I said he would die. So he said he wouldn't. No way. We'll see. I'm sticking by <laughs> it. No way. We'll see. Um, I think that's a good price. Yeah, that's a great price. Um, much cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Obviously. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it uh, it both need the camera and the move controllers don't come with it, uh, so we don't need to pay a bit extra if you want those. I think the camera is necessary. Uh, move controllers are optional. Um, there is a bundle, I think. Uh, I yeah, know there's I a bundle in America. I don't know yeah, if there's one here yet. In America, there's a bundle we can get. I think one move controller and the camera okay. with the VR. Um, but there isn't one here yet, unfortunately, for some reason. I don't think the move controllers are uh, a necessity at this point. No, it's like a I'll add an extra, but it looks. From what I've seen, it looks like it'll be like a nice thing to have. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you may as well have the whole thing if you're going to have it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll pick up a couple of move controllers. They're so cheap now. Yeah, pretty much. You might as well. Uh, luckily, yeah. I already have the camera, so um, I- I'm excited for it. I wasn't. I mean, I was, I, there was a point when I was like, I'm not bothered about VR at all. Yeah. But I've gotten to this point, especially now we're doing this show even more. Um, you know, I'm at the point where I'm like, right, okay, well, now I can't miss out. Yeah, it's, so, it's, the, it's the hype surrounding it. It's all this, like, course, yeah. all the hype you get built, you get joined into it, and it's like, I want to see it on myself now. Yeah, sure. And it's like, oh, it looks cool as well. It's a cool looking piece of kit. I know, is. sort of, for, you know, for, for, as you so eloquently put it when we were talking earlier, it's like a TV for your eyes. <laughs> yeah, you strap a TV on your face. Yeah, just strap a TV on your face. <laughs> um, there's just like, they say that like 50 games are going to be, um, coming out between launch and the end of the year. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a ton of games. It's awesome, yeah. It's more than like the move have. I think it's more than the move has now <laughs> on yeah. its own. I can. I, I don't think I can name you 20 games for the move. Yeah, I can. Maybe like, like, like two maybe. Um, <laughs> a sports one and... Yeah, sports champions. Struggling already. And sports champions two. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's two. two. Nailed it. Uh, there's a game, <laughs> there's a horrible fighting game. Oh God, yeah. I the that. Fight. Yeah. Which I tried out, and it caned your arms for a start, but <laughs> it's not a good game. It yeah, it was a similar Opal Connect as well, which is equally bad. Yeah. Uh, we should play that, not the Opal Connect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I said on the last show that I wouldn't buy a Connect, or we, we really like sort of tore into it. Yeah. But um, to stream and have your face like, showing during the stream on an Xbox One, you need the Connect. Mm. So I put my tail between my legs and I bought one. Um, it was only forty two pounds, so I know I know that surprised great. you. Yeah, yeah. I spent, it's like remember when it first came out, it was like this is the future of gaming. Yeah. You need a connect to be able to play all the best games as good as possible. And now it's like <laughs> uh, yeah, it's about forty quid. Yeah, it's <laughs> not <laughs> it's not even the present of gaming. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's, let alone the future. So. It wasn't even the past, it was never relevant. <laughs> yeah, so forty two pounds, that was pretty good. So yeah. um going back to VR, yeah, I'm excited. I mean I'm I'm really looking forward to when it comes out. Obviously Same. I'm sure um as you know, time rolls on. We'll find a, out a release date in the probably the near future. Probably uh, along with sort of what games are coming at launch. I know that there's the PlayStation Worlds. Yeah, I don't it know is, if it's called that. I think so. I think it's PlayStation, PlayStation something, something like that. Yeah, I think it's PlayStation Worlds. Like five unique worlds for VR. Mm. Um, it looks really fun. Mm. It looks like little mini games, but it looks for like um, what they are. They look really fun. Mm. It's gonna. I think it's gonna act like a, a like a show show off yeah. what VR can do. It's like Wii Sports for VR, basically. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And uh, one of them looks to be based on the Getaway. Yeah. Uh, or true. in set in that universe that the Getaway was set in. If you don't remember the Getaway, it was a, there was two games, maybe three, two of which were on the PS2. Um, PS2. PS2. Yeah. I don't want the PS2. Uh, there was the Getaway, <laughs> and there's the Getaway Black Monday. I don't think I played that one. I don't remember. I didn't. I didn't play the second one. I didn't yeah. play the first. I loved it. I mean, I'm sure I if I went yeah. back and played it now, it'd be crap. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there was one for the PSP as well. Was there? I think so. Yeah. No? Wow. Well, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, that's <laughs> I, I'm almost certain of that. If I'm wrong, do tell me in the comments. You're probably right. Yeah. It's not like them released in PSP. Yeah. Okay. Them old franchise, not the members. But all in all, I'm I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Me too. Can't wait. I've filled it. So Sunny. Yeah, I've, yeah, I pre-ordered it pretty much straight away from uh, a, a reputable 
website. <laughs> I won't name names, but uh, one of them anyway. I'm sure you can pre-order it from. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, that, I mean that's the biggest gaming news that we've got to report. By far. It's been a slow couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been a slow couple of weeks. I, mean, yeah. I think uh, since... I mean, everyone's too busy playing the division to <laughs> yeah. have news. Exactly. Okay. Um, there was a rumour this week that um, Nintendo... I mean, this came out of Japan. Um, Japan. And I think Nintendo have been sort of a little bit coy on this. They've not commented properly on it, I don't think. But the, the rumour was that the Wii U is uh, going to um, stop production as far as new consoles go. Hmm. This doesn't come as a surprise to me. I, no. I put this on Twitter. It, it's not surprising. I don't know no. what you think about it. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Um, there's a lot of rumours going around that the NX will be coming, be announced this year at E3. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it makes sense that it stopped uh, making Wii U to make room for the NX. Yeah. Uh, there's, I don't know if you saw the um, leaks in commas, um, in, in inverted, whatever you call them. <laughs> and the leaked screenshot of the NX controller. It's kind of like a oval shaped um, screen with buttons on it. Oh, okay. It looks pretty fake to me. Uh, but there was a patent that had like a similar looking thing a while ago. Mm-hmm. It's elite. Um, Do you think um, anybody knows anything about the NX as it stands at the minute? Apart from people at Nintendo, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably not. I don't know. It's uh, Maybe some developers will know making games for it. I think Nintendo yes. are pretty good at keeping this sort of thing close to their chest. So yeah. I would take anything you see on the internet at the minute as far as leaks are concerned with a pinch of salt. Yeah, definitely. Just at the minute, I mean, I'm sure, I mean, E3 is what, a couple <clears> of months <throat> away now? Not far off. So, I mean, it's only a matter of time before we really know. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that the Wii U didn't do as well as it had potential to do. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, I like um, it. I like it as a console. I mean... A lot of people slate the controller, but I like it. Yeah, it's fine for what it is. Um, um, although I do prefer the controllers that we used to play Mario Kart. Oh yeah, the little uh, pro controllers. Yeah, the the pro controllers were really nice. Um, it's a shame it didn't really come bundled with that instead. But, yeah, know, gotta have a selling point, I guess. And Nintendo obviously thought the tablet was the selling point. <laughs> I don't think they'll do that again, which is why I'm not convinced that the no. Um, Screen controller thing. Screen controller thing is real. I know. I, mean, I think they go for a lot more traditional thing. I think put, so. Hopefully, then listen by now. Uh, the people aren't always, uh, or don't always want change. Mm-hmm. Um, That's the thing. Yeah. Nintendo don't need to reinvent the game at this point. They just no. need to keep up. Exactly. Yeah. Because uh, to be fair, the Wii U is uh, by far the weakest console. So I think it's why it didn't take off as, mm-hmm. as much as it could have done. Um, <laughs> My cat's hearing you say in the corner, because <laughs> if you wonder what we're looking at. Um, but yeah, I I wish it should... I think it should, the Wii U should have been more powerful. Um, I don't think they should have bothered with the touchscreen controller. Um, that being said, it's a good console. There's good games on there. Really good games. If you didn't want cheap, buy it. Yeah. If you don't need to buy them. I mean, there's, there's two versions of it. It's like a black one and a white one. Yeah. The white one is like a basic package. To be honest, if you just want to play the Nintendo games that are out for it, you might as well just buy that. Yeah, not well. And there's some really good, like first party games that mm. Nintendo have made for the console. Mario Maker's great. Uh, Mario Maker. Maker um, Mario Kart is excellent. Yep. Bayonetta Two is phenomenal. It's amazing. Um, Lego City is very good. I'm just looking at Finn's <laughs> Wii U collection here <laughs> and trying to sort of pull some out. Uh, Captain Toad is excellent. Yep. High Wall Legends. High Wall Warriors, rather. High Wall Warriors is good as well. Yep. Um, Super Mario Land, you know, it's a classic stuff. It's a really good console. Yeah, it is. Um, you can go see us play Mario Kart on our YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. That if you are looking at us right now, you are on already. So mm-hmm. you might as well just take yourself another click <laughs> and uh, go and watch us play Mario Kart. Yes, subscribe. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's a shame it's coming to an end. But if there's new stuff coming, it makes perfect sense. Yep, definitely. Yeah, not much in the way of game releases coming. In the next month or so. Not nope. I didn't, all I could find was like re-releases of things. Yeah. Uh, Tiger Tigers now on Steam if you want that. <laughs> um. Yeah, for them. Quantum Break is coming to Xbox One. Oh yeah. Uh, that's, next week. That's a good one. Um, which I'm very excited about. Yep. You'll see us do a let's play of it because it looks excellent. Yep, definitely. Uh, 
and it's supposed to be a real technical masterpiece as well. Mm. Uh, Literally, but even I saw Digital Foundry did a uh, did an article on it. Oh, yeah. Obviously, they played it, and uh, they said it's a, a technical showcase, is what they call it. So wow. I'm really excited to play it. Awesome. Uh, I hope the live action bits aren't crap. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, I don't. I'm not a big fan of live action in video games. No. Um, I remember playing Red Alert back in the day. Command and Conquer Red Alert. Uh, that was awesome. That's good back in the day. What about the um, <laughs> what about the cool um, live action bits in Resident Evil, the first one? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Albert Wesker. <laughs> yeah, Slicking amazing. Back his hair, yeah. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that never happened again. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they sort of realised straight away that this, you know, that sucks. Yeah, definitely. Let's not do this with Resident Evil too. Yeah, I think last time I saw it in the game was probably Command and Conquer Red Alert Three. I think Red, I think uh, Rick Flair was in. One of them in Good the fight. DLC or something, yeah. <laughs> of all people. Doing what? I just, don't know, it's been a guy, army guy. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll show you it on YouTube later. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, that sounds that sounds really real. Yeah, yeah it ties the wrestling into it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we'll play Quantum Break. It looks really good, so I'm, I'm, I hope it is. I yeah. have high hopes for it, but I had high hopes for Halo 5, and I still haven't <laughs> finished it. So. <laughs> yeah, well, Remedy hasn't let us down yet. Um, Lemmy was really good. Uh, Max Payne, really good, obviously. Um, mm. Yeah, look towards it. And you get Alan Wake with it. That's true, yeah. We get Alan Wake bundled with it, and give you pre-order. Pre -order. Uh, and the two DLCs are for Alan Wake as well, so that's yep. pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm going to play Alan Wake again because I loved it. Yeah, I did too. It's really I really loved it. I'd love a sequel, so if you are... You know, if you do stumble across this and uh, make a sequel, please. They must know people love Alan Wake. Yeah, they I mean, must enough be. for them to bundle it in with Quantum Break. Yeah, like I mean, Quantum Break should be a selling point enough. So, but I mean, to bundle Alan Wake in there as well, you know, they must know that people want to play Alan Wake again, especially yeah. as it's now obviously available backwards compatible on Xbox One. Yeah, I think Alan Wake is somehow part of, um, like, we'll set in the same universe as Quantum Theory. I heard. Quantum Break. Quantum, whatever. Quantum Theory. What's Quantum Theory? Some puzzle game, I think. Something science-y. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like a portal-like game on PC. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we'll find out. Quantum Theory. But for the next podcast, Quantum we'll theory. find out. And we'll do it in the corrections. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> corrections. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that is... Um, quick side note, actually. Um, Bully and Manhunt were released for PlayStation 4 out of the blue this yeah. week. Right, onto the PlayStation Store to yesterday. Both eleven ninety nine each in pounds. Um, whatever that is in dollars. Fifteen ninety nine or something? Something like that. We all get cheaper than us. Jerks. Um, uh. I remember when those games first came out and they were like people were going like bat <laughs> shit for them. Yeah. Like, in a sense like going after them. It was like, Oh my god. Manhunt is Manhunt's coming out and oh, got let's try this game banned. It was makes it super banned. I mean, yeah, yeah. Manhunt two especially got banned pretty much everywhere. I think like it released a watered down version on the Wii, maybe. There is a Wii version of it actually. Yeah, yeah you're right. But, uh, Do you have it? I don't. Sadly, oh. we should get it and play it. Yeah, we should. It's probably really good. Um, but yeah, so th those two games and when they first came out, obviously it was like a big deal that they were coming out. Especially uh, like Bully couldn't be called Bully. It was called oh, yeah. Canis Canim Edit, which oh, yeah. so uh, translates to uh, Dog Eat Dog oh, is it? in right. Latin. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> Great name. I'm, just, I'm and of course. <laughs> yeah, well, modern. Smart. Yeah, yeah, me. Smart, isn't he? Um, <laughs> I, I had to research that. <laughs> and because um, I remember when it first came out, I was like, I didn't know what it meant. So, yeah. So, um, they were, they've were they been released to no fanfare at all. But just there. PlayStation 2 remasters, complete with upscaling and trophies. Got them trophies. Both great games. Both worth adding to your backlog. Mm -hmm. I know I certainly will be. Never played Manhunt. Never played Manhunt? No. Oh. I should. Yeah, you should, yeah. <laughs> Is it good? It's really good, yeah. Really good. Um, it's, it's pretty sick. I mean... Oh, yeah, of course. It's like... Uh, it's just like <laughs> a snuff movie. Yeah. All right, but it's, it's, it's sold. Yeah. <laughs> a snuff movie. <laughs> My favorite. Count me in. <laughs> uh, awesome. Yeah, well worth playing. I mean, it's only twelve quid, so cool. And it awesome. has trophies, so you might as well go and do I it. I love trophies. Hopefully, not crap trophies. <laughs> yeah, beat the game on every difficulty. They don't stack. Yeah, and do it without dying yeah. twice. Yeah. <laughs>
developers, stop giving us crap trophies. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. Trophies yeah. really do count now. Like, gamers go into games wanting trophies. Yeah, like I've gotten so much more out of games because of like, trophies and achievements. Yeah. And I've played them way more than I would have done without them. Yeah. I mean, the developers of Firewatch should hang their heads <laughs> in shame. <laughs> yeah. Because, Jesus Christ... There's, what is there, five trophies? Five trophies. Three gold, one silver, one bronze. Yeah. You know, all just by playing through the game. Just by playing through the game. No, I mean, the world is so big. Yeah. Right. Get the same thing. Go, I don't know, I don't know find a hundred beer cans. Or anything, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anything other than just story progression. Exactly. Because ugh, we want better trophies. We want to, you know, if you want us to get more than five hours out of your game because <laughs> once you finish Firewatch you've finished it you haven't got to go back and revisit it exactly I think there are like multiple endings as well so it's like there are multiple endings but we'll never see them because you didn't give us the least yeah. <laughs> you're given, there's no incentive to go and do it yeah because trophies matter they do believe me I think believe that every ga- <laughs> <laughs> every gamer that you speak to will tell you that and anyone who te- doesn't who tells you otherwise is lying <laughs> yeah, hasn't become addicted yet like we have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My my one of my friends calls me a trophy whore. He's like, <laughs> you're absolutely trophy whoring. Like, right? yeah. If you're a trophy whore, I am a super trophy whore. Yeah. Or something. That's another smart metaphor that I can't think of. Brilliant. <laughs> Trophies matter. Yeah. That's really. it. That's all I've got to say about it. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it for gaming. Mm-hmm. The wrestling section of this could be fairly hefty. It could. Just because there's a lot to talk about. Um, we are in WrestleMania season. We are. <laughs> road to WrestleMania. Yeah, um, we're on the road to WrestleMania. That's what <laughs> WWE tell us from the Royal Rumble onwards. Yeah. Okay, so we're just over a week away from WrestleMania. Sweet. We're so close, they've started building the set at the really? stadium. Really? Yeah, right. I noticed that today, actually. I saw it on the way over here, and I was like looking at my phone, and That's awesome. I noticed that. Um Okay, well, how, how do you feel about the build-up to WrestleMania so far? What are, you, what are your thoughts? Are you excited for WrestleMania? Um, uh, I don't know. I I am excited because it's WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the fact it's WrestleMania alone gets yeah. excited. Um, but there's really not what to be excited for. Um, I don't know. The championship match is like, we know when we're going to win. It's just, uh, unless they do something drastic and... I don't know, bring back someone, like bring back John Cena and have him interfere with the match or something. I don't know why we would do that, but <laughs> who knows. But yeah, Roman's going to have a match. The, the winner as champ. And it's like, there's no, there's no, like nothing, no stakes. No, no stakes, let's say. It's like, we, we already know what's going to happen. It's like, why am I watching this? But I mean, the, the card is big. It's a, it's a decent card. It just hasn't had a lot of build-up. And that's the problem that I've got with it. I mean, I love WrestleMania. Yeah. Every single year, myself and my friends, we, we take the day off after, uh, day off work after WrestleMania, and we, we'll watch it together. Yeah. And we have done for years, and we love it. And, you know, and I, I'm as excited this year as I um, have been in previous years. It's just that, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from <laughs> WrestleMania this year. Yeah, it's like, we want to be excited. It's just like, yeah. uh, what is there to be excited for? It's yeah. like, the Strange McMahon match looks probably well, be good. Yeah. The Strange probably going to lose, but... <laughs> you see, I don't think he will. Yeah, I mean, but... We, we will have a predictions episode. We will, definitely. And we'll, we'll sort of, obviously, go back and revisit um, our predictions and see, you know, that's for another time. Yeah, yeah. Um... <sighs> I, I'm excited for the, the day of WrestleMania. I love WrestleMania Sunday. Hmm. I love the, the evening part where we, you know, you're joining us this year, so yeah. that's going to be great as well. And obviously we're going to do a WWE 2K16 stream Yep. Uh, with our predictions, happy. with a couple of friends joining in, friends mm-hmm. of the show joining in. So all of that's going to be great. I just don't know what to expect from the card. Yeah. I mean, let's go, I mean, let's go through the card here. Bottom, bottom to top as always. Okay. So the pre-show... Um, we've got the 20 man Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Cool. Um, only yeah. the, the only sort of participants in that so far are Big Show, Kane, and the Social Outcasts. <laughs> Great. Um, who else is there? <laughs> Isn't all the other match? I mean, Tyler Breeze will be in there. Oh, yeah. I guess. 
I like Tyler. Yeah, I like Tyler a lot. Vince doesn't. <laughs> Vince clearly doesn't. Yeah, sad. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, um, so that that's there. I like it. It's fine. I mean, yeah. Big Show won it last year. I don't see him winning it again. No. But, you know, they've got a week. I mean, there's only one more episode of Raw and one more wow. episode of SmackDown left yeah. to fill that out. Yeah, to get decided. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to win, to be honest. Uh, he's probably not going to be a Big Show again. Um, Desire is out, so he's not going to win it again. Um, go Heath Slater, I guess. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Um, the Whites are all injured, so yeah. <laughs> none of them are in it, I guess. The carpet blew out with knee. The most recent episode of War, I think. Yeah, Bray Wyatt's got a back injury, which mm-hmm. is why he didn't fight at Roadblock, which we'll touch on in a bit. Yeah. And Braun Strowman got punched by a, a crowd member on oh, Raw. I missed that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw. I, I don't think it was on Raw. I think it was after Raw. Oh yeah. Yeah, he got punched by a, a, a fan. Great. A disgruntled fan. I, I guess I don't know. Genius. Why would you? Why people to punch? Why punch a giant? Yeah, why punch the biggest guy? <laughs> yeah. Like, the brave. biggest, hardest looking guy. Brave and stupid. <laughs> More stupid than brave. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so that's the pre-show. I'm assuming that's going to fill the pre-show. Probably. Okay. I thought there was like a... Was uh, there a tag match on last year's pre-show? I think so. They did tease like a, like a Divas thing on this week's war with like uh, Natalia. I think left the leftover Divas who aren't in there. I think that's going to be on the, on the main card. You think so? Yeah. Could, yeah, I guess. I think so. It could be. Um, I mean, the pre-show is probably going to be longer than normal pre-show. Yeah, I think it's two hours long. At least oh, last so the, the, I mean, there could be another match on the card. Yeah. Um, if you were going to have another match on the card, that would be the one I would pick. Probably, yeah. Me too. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Team Bellas. <laughs> why, that's, why is that still a thing? But, why is that, why but, why neither, the name? The are... only one that's there is Brie. <laughs> yeah. Alicia Fox isn't a Bella. No. Natalia is not a Bella. And Paige, who I haven't seen on TV do anything good for ages, <laughs> is shame. also not a Bella. Yeah. Um, she I must think... have pissed somebody off. Yeah. It should be like Team Total. I think if they like might change to Team Cho- Total Divas. Jesus. Because that's a TV show people watch. <laughs> um, good. Well, in fact, I think you might be right. Yeah. Because I saw something earlier on on a social media site um, that's... Um, because obviously, the minute the opponents are team bad, Naomi, Tamina, La- T- Tamina, Lana, and three question marks here. <laughs> right, okay. But um, then question marks have now been filled in. To my knowledge, and it's actually going to be Emma. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Good. I like Emma. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you good. are right. And I think Emma. I haven't even seen Raw because Sky didn't record it. Thank that's you, right. Sky. Yeah, Why yeah. am I paying for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, who else was it? Oh, Emma Summer Ray, who's. Who can actually wrestle? They 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 let her wrestle for some reason. Mm. We never see her on TV. Um, was this on main event or was it on Raw? I think it was main event actually. Yeah, it was on main event because it was on on YouTube. Uh, so Emma was fighting. It was it was I think it was like a tag match between Naomi and someone versus I don't know whoever. <sighs> I don't know if it was a match, but um, but uh, Lana was there because I think it was three months been in the match at some point because uh, Lana was there and just never done feud. For some reason, yeah, um, no idea why. Yeah, and then after the match, Emma and Summer Rae came down to help the bad guys. I guess main event <laughs> seems like a strange place for them to introduce, reintroduce Emma. It is. It's stupid. Almost as stupid as bringing Tyler mm. Breeze up on SmackDown. But mm. <laughs> poor so, Tyler Breeze. Team Bellas or Team Total Divas, whatever versus Team Bad. We're, I'm assuming they're adding Emma to that match. I don't. Yeah, me sure. Okay. Emma Makes, I mean, Emma. I like Emma. Yep, I love Emma. She's awesome. Um, I like the uh, combination of Ember and Dana on NXT, though. Yeah, that's true. So I don't I think know. Dana's really brought up just yet. I don't think she's fit. I don't. No, I, I, don't I think, think she's still. injured. Still, yeah. yeah. Shame. Which is a real shame. I, I like Dana as well. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, <laughs> be annoying <laughs> voice. That's fine. I don't. Know. Um, uh, I don't care about this match. Uh, no, me neither. It's just a like, fellow, isn't it? It's like, we need to fill the guard out because everyone's dead and injured. Yeah. Uh, so what are we going to do? Um, here, have a Divas match. Because, why not? Because, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I also don't know who wins. I would uh, assume... The good guys, probably. The good guys will win. <laughs> that's how I normally work so with these team matches. So Team Tell Divas or Team Bella or whatever you want to call them. I Let's just assume they win. 
Yeah. Unless they want to like push Emma and just like, hey look, Emma won the whole match. Look how good she is. Yeah. And now she's on the main TV show. Uh, she, <laughs> aside from Paige and Natalia, Emma's probably the most talented wrestler in yeah, that match. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the, I, I paint them with the same brush. I mean, Natalia, Paige and Emma are, both very, are, are all very good. Yeah, very good. We've spent too long talking about this match. Yep. <laughs> we want quick. The Dudleys versus the Usos. Yeah, cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the Dudleys, um, I like them a lot better as bad guys. Yeah. Um, but I don't think they've had done an awful lot the last few weeks. Like, we won't use a table. Here's a table. <laughs> mm. Um, there's like, I don't know what they're going for. The Usos are kind of boring. Cause See, I like them. the Usos. I like them, but they've just been around forever and just mm. haven't really changed much. The poten- the match has potential it- itself to be a good match. Yeah. But this is the problem with the build up to WrestleMania this year is why do we care about that match? Exactly. It's like there's no there's no stakes in it. No. <laughs> like if two, if, like, if they it, win, it just means yeah. nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I guess the Usos win. Probably. Good guys normally win. Who knows? In these matches. Yeah. Um. Next on the card. Uh, the tag team title match. This isn't obviously what the card, what order is going to be in. Yeah. I'm just reading a list that I have um, from the bottom upwards. Um, New Day versus the League of Nations. Cool. Um, I like New Day. They're always entertaining. Yeah. Um, League of Nations, uh, not so much. But mm-hmm. they can put on good matches. They had a decent match at Wade Block. Yeah, Wade Block. Yeah. That was a match. So it'll be good. Worth watching. Um, I reckon. That Lee Lynch might break up during this match, possibly. Maybe. I think it's a four and three. Because I don't think New Day will lose the titles yet. No. Not to them. Not to, not to them, no. Um, but I think it's like four and three as well, isn't it? So. I mean, this it could be pretty good. I mean, um, I think the, I mean the last Raw I saw was last week's Raw where New Day started the show. Oh yeah. And then the League of Nations came down and did like a beatdown on them afterwards. Mm, and it right. went on for what seemed like forever. Yeah. And then that was that was like I think that's like the official New Day face turn, um, because like they were kind of heels before that. It's like oh let's get them beat up by two bad guys and that that like make sure everyone knows that they're good guys now, kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, because WWE logic that's how that works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'd prefer the New Day as bad guys. Yeah. But they're good guys at the same time. I'm happy for them to stay as they are. They don't need a, an official face turn or anything. No, no. So. I think I think they'll still be who they are because that's how that's how they got over in the first place. Sure. But uh, just I don't know. In the eyes of the casual fans, they're now good guys. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> that's great for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, although I do want to order the uh, t-shirt in the Bootios box. Oh yeah, yeah. It is cool. Same as not real cereal, but. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, that might be my WrestleMania t-shirt. I know we oh, discussed yeah. this on the last stream that we did for Roadblock, mm. which was excellent, by the way. If you did tune in to that, um, thank you. Yes, that's great. It was real. It was real good. Um, yeah. So we, we we're, like, we're going to buy WrestleMania t-shirts, mm-hmm. like a new t-shirt for WrestleMania. I might see an old one. Do any else? Many have. <laughs> Fair enough. But you've we'll got cool, you've only just bought some new ones. That's true. I haven't bought new ones, so yeah, I've got one of those. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We'll be wearing wrestling t-shirts on our WrestleMania stream. Yep. Because we're cool. <laughs> yep. Um, we're cool guys. Kalisto versus Ryback. This has had very <laughs> strange build-up. Neither of them were on last this week's war, as what? far as I can tell. Yeah. The uh, Team Kara was there because they're running out of people at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, unless unless I like, accidentally skipped it, well, last time I skipped a big stage match. Um, yeah, I didn't see him there or Ryback. So he's like, why? Why do I care about this match? <sighs> Um, yeah, I don't like Ryback. No, Ryback's... Ugh. I like Kalisto a lot. He's awesome. Yeah, but... same. I mean, Ryback's fine. He's a good, big guy. Yeah. I like him, man. I like him, man. Oh, the ice cream guy's <laughs> here. I don't know if I should pick that up. Hopefully it will. <laughs> Hopefully it won't, rather. Oh, I'll definitely pick it up. God damn it, ice cream man. Why? It's not even sunny. It's this like, is true. It's six o'clock in the evening. What? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We'll, we'll power through. <laughs> power through the ice cream man. Although, uh, now I really want an ice cream. Yeah, you do. Got yeah. the cupcakes over there. Anyway. Oh, excellent. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I guess Ryback is going to win. I, I, I guess. Is... And then the Lucha Dragons go back together, and then it moves forward. Who knows? Who knows? We will talk about our predictions and stuff in greater detail 
Yeah. Before WrestleMania. Yeah, we'll either do could, a video could... of our predictions or we'll have another podcast or whatever. We'll do something. Yeah. I mean, take what we're saying now uh, with one more Raw to go as rough guesses. Yeah. Not it could, it could, actual predictions. Yeah, so it could still change. Yeah, the, la- the last roar before WrestleMania could throw us a curveball. Yeah. It won't, but it could. <laughs> no, it certainly won't, but yeah. No, it won't. Um, <laughs> but it could do. So, save our official predictions for next week. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, the IC time match that was rushed together this week on Raw. Yeah. Um, Kevin Owens, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, The Miz, Stardust, Zack Ryder, and <laughs> Sin Cara in a, <laughs> in a seven-way ladder match. Uh, this was rushed together. Um, yeah, I haven't seen Raw, but I've seen the what led to this. Kevin Owens got to pick three people to go in a triple threat match. Stop yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and I think he picked Stardust, mm-hmm. The Miz. Nope, he picked, that... he picked Stardust, Zack Ryder, and Sin Cara. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, because you the other three were like in the title picture. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So he picked like... three people that weren't in the title picture to. Uh, find a triple threat match to be the number one contender for the IC title of Mania. Yeah. Um, Zack Ryder won? Nope. What um, happened? Okay. It, it's like I some, suck. I didn't even see <laughs> what, so. It was some um, crappy disqualification finish. Even though it's a triple threat match, there are no disqualifications. I think Kevin Owens pushed one of them into another one and then ding, 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 disqualification. Then everyone's kind of jumped in and the other three got in as well. So it was like seven of them all going at it. Right. Going after Kevin Owens. And then... Uh, Backstage, Kevin Owens went to step to a fan and said, oh, look what happened. Oh, I want none of them to get a title shot. And they said, well, screw you, Kevin. You're, they're all going to get a title shot in a ladder match. And that's what happened. There always <laughs> seems to be a big ladder match at WrestleMania. Yeah, which is good. I'm, I'm fine I'm... with it because, I mean, th- that has the potential to be the best match on the card. Yeah, definitely. The person I feel bad for is Neville. But you know Neville's going to be in this match. Yeah. And you know he, you know he would have been great in it. Um, sadly, he was got... Yeah, I feel awful for Neville. Yeah, sadly he got hurt. Uh, he got his ankle injury. Doing all things a baseball slide, yeah. <laughs> with all the flippy, flippy, flappy, amazing moves he does, yeah. he had himself doing bloody baseball slide. Yeah, I love <laughs> Jericho's like reaction in that match. Oh yeah, um, so, because he looked genu- genuinely pissed off at the ref. Yeah, because uh, the ref sort of um, obviously when Jericho went for the the schoolboy roll up, he wanted the match to end then. Yeah, and then um, obviously when it didn't, oh. he pushed the ref. That's what happened. Yeah, I, 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 I watched it because like. I was confused when I was watching it. Like, what sure. has happened? I, I saw like a subtitled video afterwards. Oh yeah. Um, like showing the, um, you know what actually happened, and yeah, Jer- I think Jericho wanted to end the match when Neville told him he was hurt, and he did went for the roll up, obviously, but the ref didn't count to three. He <laughs> made out that Neville kicked out, even though he never did. Yeah. And then the that match was stopped, and it was Jericho got disqualified for pushing the ref. Yeah. So it was a, a real BS ending to the match when. If Jericho's going to go over anyway, just have him win using the roll-up. Exactly, yeah. Weird. I don't know. Weird. And there was a little exchange between Jericho and Charles Robinson. Oh, yeah. Charles Robinson, mm. who I've met, by the way, who was a very nice person. Yeah, he's really nice. Uh, I actually met him in an airport. Oh, yeah. uh, I was going on a holiday to America a few years back, a couple of years back, and WWE were on tour, and seemingly they all travel separately, which is strange to me, I don't know why. But Charles Robinson was at the airport, and he was very nice, had a photograph taken and stuff like that. Awesome. Yeah. Nice guy, but yeah. he screwed the ending to that match up, so... <laughs> yeah, you know, well, it takes happen. Yeah. But that, that'll be a really good match. I think Kevin Owens retains, this, or Sami Zayn wins. I'm yeah, sure. it's like Owens or Sami, so... Yeah. Don't think Zack Wilder's going to win. Don't think Sin Cara's going to win somehow. Um, no, no, Sin Cara's definitely going back with Kalisto after uh, WrestleMania. Yeah. For sure. But yeah. yeah. Ziggler won't win. No. WWE doesn't care about him. <laughs> well, poor I Ziggler. don't care about him. No. Well, yeah. Yeah. I know you like him, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> By this point, I kind of have to agree with you. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yeah, what about Neville? Uh, Divas title match, triple threat. That was going to be good, I think. If, if they give it, if they give it time, it'll be good. Yeah, if it has the time to for them to do what they potentially can do, that could be outstanding. Definitely, yeah. Um, I think Sasha honest. wins, surely. You would hope so. It's just definitely the most popular out of the three. Sure. Um, but yeah, the all all three divas can wrestle. They're all really good. Mm-hmm. Um, sort of like NXT. Um, I would love them to drop that term after WrestleMania. Divas, yeah, definitely. And the belt sucks as well. Yeah, get new belt. Call yeah. them women. Um, yeah, Big Bailey in as well. It's yeah. that time. Yeah. Do that. Exactly. Um, I think Sasha wins. Definitely. 
I hope Sasha wins. Yep, I'm I a big fan. I big for their buggers off after this as well. Uh. <laughs> so we get it, we get it. Um, Rick, you're a legend. We like you. Just sort of go away now. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I hate the the, t- the t- <laughs> yeah. whistles thing he does. Woo! What, <laughs> what are you doing? Woo! He's like batting away the crazy the, like moss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, get away. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like feeling around his for his wallet. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Woo! He's like seeing things. He's like going to see now. He's like, oh, get away. Go yeah. Away. <laughs> the bats, bats, bats. <laughs> yeah, he's Ric Flair's crazy. Um, I like Ric Flair. I respect everything he's done. Yeah, of course. But go away now, please. <laughs> um, Brock versus Dean Ambrose. Yep, that's gonna be great. This is a fine build up, I guess. Yep. Um, I want to see the fight. I like that um, Mick Foley and Terry Funk have been <laughs> yeah. around the last couple of weeks. Poor Terry Funk. I don't know what's <laughs> going on? He's just like, oh, you get Terry Funk, and he's like, oh, wow, oh. Uh, Dean, Dean Ambrose, he's not my son. Uh, Terry Funk's still wrestling, you know. Is he? Yeah. Bloody hell. Erkin's had about barely. 150 retirement matches. <laughs> yeah. You barely walk or talk or anything. I'm sure Poor he guy. is still wrestling. If I'm wrong, guys, please do let me know. But I'm pretty sure he's still going. Blimey. Somehow. Yeah. I mean, what is he? He's got to be late 70s? Somewhere around there, yeah. More, more power to him if he likes doing it. Why the hell not? Yeah, that's what I've been liking doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to kill you eventually, but <laughs> <laughs> you made it this far. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know who's going to win. Um, yeah. Uh, a little bit extreme, changed a little bit much. <laughs> you don't want to kill the poor guy. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. the only way to be it was like cutting his head off. <laughs> yeah, it's like a zombie. Zombie Brock Lesnar. Um, um, if you don't know, that, but... if, if, if you're like a casual fan and sort of only started watching it in the last few years and aren't aware... Terry Funk used to play a character called Chainsaw Charlie mm-hmm. and he used to team with Cactus Jack. That's yeah. the relevance of the chainsaw yeah. and why he's giving it to Dean Ambrose. Um, I don't know. I like Dean Ambrose to win. Yeah. But I also like Brock, so... I like both. Um, hmm, it depends. If you want to make Dean Ambrose like a believable main event guy, um, I think they'll have Dean uh, win. I don't know how much longer Brock's going to be wrestling for. Um, I don't know how long it's been contracted to wrestle for, how many more matches. Uh, multiple years, I think. Is it? I think it's on a multi year deal because they made a, such a big deal out of it. Like it was on ESPN Sports Center oh, right. talking about how he's renewed a contract and how it's good for him money wise and all that yeah. sort of thing. And yeah, because it, it could potentially damage Rock Lesnar if he loses. Um, it just depends how it happens. If it's weapons involved, then I guess not. I don't know. Hard to say. Know. This is probably the most. Um, I, like, I like the build up, but it did. Obviously, they were working towards Roadblock um, and making it out to be a big deal when it turned out not to be a big deal. Yeah, not at all. Um, we'll run through that in a minute. But um, then afterwards, the, you know, the Dash run Raw, it's like, shit, now we've got to start building Brock versus Dean Ambrose. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's the most the most unpredictable match uh, yeah. on the card. It's like every other match, like you kind of can guess what's going to happen, who's going to win. And this, mm-hmm. this is the one match where you can't really, you don't know what's going to happen. Which brings us to the next match, which is the most interesting match on the card for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Undertaker versus Shane. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I think <laughs> Shane McMahon is going to win. Uh, my friend sent me, friend of the show, Steve, sent me um, the current betting odds on WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Which has Undertaker as very slight favourite. Right. Uh, but I, I replied to him and said, I think Shane wins. Um, it just feels pointless to have the Undertaker win when there's something when when they've sort of pushed that there's something on the line mm. and they've pushed that there's the potential change yeah why bring Shane in just to have him lose for this whole thing to be swept under the rug like it never happened <laughs> and it for it to just be the same going forward yeah um, the only reason I think the Undertaker might win it um, because on this week's War Vince did like a like a nothing segment where he said, oh, if Undertaker loses, this will be his last match at WrestleMania. And then walked off. And like, oh. <laughs> but it um, is in Dallas. Yeah. And he is knackered. Yeah. I just, like, kind of figured it would be his last anyway. Um, but but then there's also the match, the dream match between him and John Cena that people want to see. So Do the people want to see that? I want to see it. Want you to want to see Undertaker versus John Cena? Yeah, here we go. Big match, John. It must be <laughs> on a pay-per-view somewhere. Surely he's for Undertaker. Probably on the baby, not for WrestleMania. 
Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, people 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 want to see that. Um, I think it could happen. As do I think Undertaker might win at WrestleMania. Mm. But who knows? Yeah, well, I prefer seeing him win because I want. I think what I'm more shocked about is that you want to see Undertaker versus Big Match John. <laughs> at I mean, it, John puts on good matches. He's always thing at, with the with the US title. Want some? Come get some. I don't know. <laughs> Big match, Finn. <laughs> Big match, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I think Shane will win. Yeah, I, I hope Shane will win. But we'll see. Oh, you hope Shane wins? Yeah, I hope Shane wins, but I think I'm going to say win. No, wait. So, <laughs> what do you? I mean, I'd like. I still. I don't know. Who cares? Who knows? He doesn't know what he wants. He wants Big mm-hmm. Match John against Undertaker at next year's WrestleMania. I want something to happen. Something different. <laughs> Something unpredictable. So then, so then you want Shane to win? Yes. That makes sense. Shut up. <laughs> Finn makes sense. Next In match. His head. Roman Reigns versus Triple H. <laughs> How are you moving on so fast? <laughs> um, I think Triple H will win. <clears throat> uh, yeah. What? No. Roman Reigns will win. <laughs> Roman, Roman Reigns is going to win. Gonna win. No, that's, yeah. the, that's, that, that's that chapter closed. Uh, yep. Um, oh yeah. Correction. Uh, Ooh. last podcast I said uh, got into the conspiracy theory that uh, Roman Reigns just put out action uh, because he was in like uh, Boston and things and didn't want him to be mm. booed out the building um, turns out yes he did have no surgery uh, it wasn't because Triple H smashed his face it was just because like it's a thing that's been bothering for weeks and they, they wanted to get it done before Mania it just makes perfect sense until it just broke him out of TV for a few weeks yeah especially just... if he's going to have a long 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 title run exactly yeah so it makes sense so we uh, uh are wise to want to avoid any further injuries. Yeah, definitely. Especially if he's going to be the guy going forward. Now, Zap which... Bubble wrap. I don't <laughs> really have a problem with Roman Reigns going forward. No, I I'm don't. I, at all. No, I'm not I'm not bothered by Roman Reigns. I think it's fine. He's not great, but it's, it's good enough. <laughs> he does the job, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it, we, we just have to accept that this is what's going to happen. And <laughs> yeah. It's just tough. Was that you know, the the marks of the world are <laughs> gonna boo Roman Reigns regardless. Yeah, just let them get on with it. I'm not gonna boo Roman Reigns. Um, I'm no. not even gonna disagree with his title run because who else is gonna win the championship at this point? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who else is left? Because I don't believe even that Dean Ambrose is a worthy world heavyweight champion. No, I like Dean Ambrose. Yeah. But he, and I don't mean this to sound very Vince McMahon-ish, but he doesn't look like the world heavyweight champion. No, but then neither did Daniel Bryan, but... Yeah, but Daniel Bryan at least wore wrestling gear. True. That's true, yeah, he just wears, like... Jeans and a vest. <laughs> yeah. Reigns yeah. looks like the real deal. Yeah, well, I do think he should lose his stupid body armour thing he wears. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Change the music as well. Uh, I'm glad that his entrance is now coming through the... Coming down the ramp and not mm, through the crowd, which is an interesting decision by WWE to do that. And I, I knew, I saw it coming. Yeah. But I saw it coming a while ago. I didn't sort of think it'd be it'd take this long to do. No. Um, um, it makes sense, especially if the crowd yeah. are starting to punch people. Which yeah. Is ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah. Why go to wrestling to punch somebody? God knows. It's. These guys are bigger and harder than you. Yeah, it's still real to me, damn it. You're a guy in a New Day t-shirt <laughs> who's just, Rain you know, thing. you're just eating a hot dog and drank a full fat Coke. <laughs> you do not need to be punching wrestlers. No. Don't do it. Especially not seven foot tall, giant. You big, massive guys. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I mean, Roman Reigns, come down the ramp now. That's good. Yes, good. Yeah, uh, do that. They're probably scared someone's going to stab him or something before WrestleMania. Probably, yeah, I mean... I mean, you wouldn't want him coming down the crowd, coming through the crowd the night after WrestleMania. <laughs> no, most certainly not. That crowd <laughs> yeah, is, that'd be that, that's a that's a horrible crowd. Yeah, just coming out in and like being like wrapped in bubble wrap or something, just <laughs> trying to put a bit of glass. Just have him in the ring, just like place yeah. him in the ring. <laughs> yeah, lower him down. Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't. <laughs> no, do that. I suppose. Really bad. <laughs> God damn it. That'll be in poor taste. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> WWE. <laughs> yeah. You and everything. But, you know, Roman Reigns will win the World Heavyweight Championship and he will be the champion going forward for probably the next, nice. maybe year or so. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so we're so going to have, we, just, we just need to accept it now. Yeah. 
accept it and enjoy the product going forward. He's going to get a few John Cena, isn't he? Have a match. That's going to be boring. <laughs> Wait, this is Big Match John. Yeah, but John... your favourite. You've just yep. said that you want to see. <laughs> so... <laughs> Why do you think Undertaker versus Cena will be better? I don't know. It might be right. I w- <laughs> at this point, Undertaker is not very mobile. No, but John Cena kind of makes up for it. But then, oh, whatever. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just Man, you suck circles. today. I do. <laughs> but it's like I don't know. I like John. Oh, I, like, I like I like John. I, First name turns with John. <laughs> Big like, match, John. I like Cena. I uh, I I don't mind the main events. It's just like a battle between them. It's just be like I have nothing match. No one wants to see. Cena would be the most over he's ever been. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but they turn him heel, and it's like doesn't be that we went. But look, yeah. Rollins is going to come back soon. Yeah. So they'll have a match. Yeah. There will be a Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns match. There may even be a triple threat with all three, which I'm excited for. Which yeah. I would be excited for. Yeah. Triple H will get his rematch or whatever the pay-per-view after WrestleMania is going to be called, whether it's Extreme Rules or Payback or whatever. Um, Dream Payback. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. sense more sense of Roadblock. Mm. Or... Yeah, let's, let's, let's just talk about Roadblock for a second. Um, it sucked. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> That's the end. That's like, the second. We we would we, you know the the internet was sort of a buzz with, well you know they could change things at Roadblock you know you know this could change the complexion of WrestleMania. Yeah. It changed jack shit. Literally nothing. Changed nothing. Nothing at all. <clears throat> yep. Um, so I've got the card here. Um, it started off with the WWE Tag Team Champions, uh, Biggie and Kofi, uh, and Xavier Woods obviously, uh, defending against uh, Sheamus and King Barrett. Didn't did Xavier Woods fight that match? Um, no, I think he fought the next week. He fought on, on Raw. Raw. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, so the New Day won. Obviously. <laughs> They're always no win. titles changed hands. No. Um, this was, a gl- I mean, and I put this on Twitter the day after. Um, this was just a glorified house show. Yeah, pretty much. Here we go. Give me this video. Um, yeah, a glorified house show. Um, so New Day won. Yep. What do we get next? Uh, Chris Jagger comes out. Uh, the evil Canadian in Canada, uh, bad mouse Canada, um, calls where were they? Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he really went to town on it as well. Yeah, call Toronto uh, the anus of Canada. It's what was, was pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was funny as well. I think WWE apologised today after. Did they? Mm. <laughs> Stupid. It's not real. It's not real. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm sure Jericho doesn't really think Toronto is the anus of Canada. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Um, but uh, yeah, who's gonna come out and protect Canada's honour? The all American American Jack Swagger. Oh. Why? <laughs> if only they had a Canadian, super popular Canadian who just debuted on the main roster, who was amazing on NXT. Too bad none of that exists. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Better bring out bloody Swagger. Ugh. He mentioned Swagger in the promo, right? The heel promo. And I didn't yeah. quite understand why. Yeah, so everyone loved him when Jack Swagger won his title shot. Title reign. Did he win it in Toronto? Oh, who knows? Hold oh on. no, he beat Jericho. Yeah. So there's that <laughs> very tedious connection between the two. Yeah. And did anyone love it when Swagger won? I don't think so. I don't think anyone remembers it. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, um, uh, Jericho won. And then Swagger came down and it was like, oh, this <laughs> match is happening. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Great. Um, um, yeah. Nothing match. Uh, Jericho won. After that, uh, the NXT Tag Team uh, Champions, The Revival, uh, versus, mm. still hate the name, versus Enzo and Colin Cassidy. Um, it was a great match. Really good it was a match. really good match, yeah. yeah. It was a it, really good match. It made me fans of The Revival, so there's that. Um, Revival. The Revival, whatever they're called. Okay. <laughs> um, you like them now? Yeah, they're great. Um, thought they did some really good moves and junk. Yeah. Did some good wrestling <laughs> and all that. Um, yeah, they, I mean, they were good. Uh, the, the match was really good. It was like a really yeah. good showcase for NXT. Probably best match of the night. Probably. By the Obviously. main event, which was enjoyed, well, I'm sure we'll get it to in a sec. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that was good. I was like him. The finish is cool as well. Do we do predictions for this? We did. Obviously, we did a prediction yeah. stream. Obviously, we get them all right. We have new data, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, we, we got, got them all right. all right. Pretty much. Oh um, right. Obviously, we did. Obviously, we thought it might be Joker versus um, Sami Zayn, which it should have been. Um, we obviously got that wrong, but I don't think it's prediction. I think we they were both appearing, weren't they? Oh, so yeah, we just put them it. together. Yeah. It would have been better if that match had have happened, yep. and it Much made better. perfect sense for it to happen, and the build-up was there. It didn't happen. So, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> well, Revival against Enzo and Cass. Yeah. We had 
the revival to win because what our thoughts were that Enzo and Cass would eventually make the move to the main roster. Yep, that okay. makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. It says that after that it was a Divas match, uh, Charlotte versus Natalia. Uh, another great match. It was a good match. In fact, it was a good match. It started slow and I was like, man, this is a little bit painful. Yeah. But then it sort of just picked up and it, it, yeah, it got really good. It was really good. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Both really good wrestlers. Uh, let's see more of them. Do Obviously more Charlotte won. Yep, that's right one, obviously. Cause... Ric Flair went wooing up the ramp again. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ric Flair was there. Uh, yeah. Fun times. Yeah, fun times. <laughs> After that, it was um, uh, it's supposed to be Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. Um, it turned into a handicap match. Two on one, Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper versus Brock Lesnar, which Bray Wyatt took no part in and just walked off because his back hurts. Oh, my back. Oh. I was so <laughs> annoyed. Yeah. Right. Uh, when I mean, obviously, at this point, I didn't know Bray was hurt. Yeah. I don't care, right? <laughs> it's just, it was, what was it, about 10 German suplexes in the match, and an F5 and the match was over. Yeah. It's saying because Luke Harper can, he's a really good wrestler as well. Yeah. He can go, he just didn't give him a chance. He's just like, see a few suplexes and... What this match day. was, was um, Brock's got a ton of dates, let's fill them with <laughs> junk Nothing. matches like this. Yeah. So what could have been a really good match, Brock versus Bray. Mm. Um, Brock versus Luke, give him a chance. Yeah, yeah, even Brock versus Luke. Because, I, like I said on the last podcast, or on the stream, I can't remember which, when um, I said about Seamus and Brock fighting at a house show and it was really hard hitting, and even Seamus got some offense in. That could have happened. Luke Harper could have got made him look legit, because yeah. Luke Harper is legit, and it could have been a good showcase for him. Didn't turn out that way. It was a squash and a crap one. And yeah. That. So. Uh, that was pointless, well, and I think that's what infuriated most people about Roadblock. At that yeah. point, you just thought, oh, this is a waste of time now. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst match on the card. Easily. I think. Um, after that, it was Sami Zayn, yay, versus Stardust. Um, yeah. It was an okay match. The crowd just died for some reason during this match. I think the crowd was so pissed off at <laughs> Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me, actually. Um, uh, the, the, I mean, Sami Zayn is great. Stardust is fine. He's fine. Better as Cody Rhodes. Please change him back. Yeah, I like. Please. I like, it's like flamboyance, but he just doesn't play on it as much as you said, I think. Mm. Um, which is a shame. Because uh, he is a good wrestler. Cody Rhodes? Yeah. Mm. Uh, obviously, Sammy, Sammy won that because he's a new guy. Of course, Sammy won. Um, I think Sammy wins at every house show. <laughs> probably. Trying to make him look good. Yeah, should have put. Should have had Sammy versus Jericho. Didn't yep, happen. Yep, they so. should have absolutely had that. And if they, I don't know if they probably want to see Chris Jericho to win, but they could have had Sammy Jane win and Chris Jericho attack afterwards to get his heat back. Uh-huh. And I was like, that would have made sense. That works. Or have Chris Jericho win by shenanigans or something. So yeah. So they've got a possible future feud versus Jericho versus Zayn, which would have been cool. But which is why maybe you should do some booking for WWE. Yeah, exactly. That's but, like Finn for WWE creative. But <laughs> not for Big Match John in every main event ever. Because <laughs> yeah. it's Finn's favourite. <laughs> yeah. But John Cena versus John Cena in a clone match. Yeah. <laughs> He'd do it if he could. <laughs> yeah. In a Brian Panties match. <laughs> Cena, would still... <laughs> Cena would still kick out too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but the match would never end because everyone's just keep kicking out too. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, be, that'd be WrestleMania 30 when cloning is worked yeah. out. So WrestleMania, WrestleMania 40. Yeah. Right. Well, that's only eight years away, so. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, advancing science too much. Maybe. We can clone sheep. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> John Cena versus Sheep. Uh, we lost it. We lost it. We're, we're losing we, it. Yeah, heads are gone. We're losing them. We're losing them. <laughs> <laughs> Next match. Next match. Triple H versus Dean Ambrose. Um, that was, was actually a really good match. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, good. Dean Ambrose's foot was not under the rope. Shut up. You can't come in just with a red line. Bloody. What <laughs> annoyed me so much about it was the ref counted to three. <laughs> yeah. And then decided. No. Well, 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 no, no, no. I counted to three and, you know, I didn't even think twice about it, but you know, his foot was now definitely under the rope. No yeah. way. Like the bloody red line they put underneath <laughs> the rope. That was nowhere near the rope, for God's <laughs> sake. At least make it look... Uh, no. It's like Toyota shop his leg to be slightly longer or something. Yeah. <laughs> put some effort in. Yeah, or at least uh, have him dangling over the edge or something. I don't know, who knows? But... Yeah, to be very honest, probably, it was probably Ambrose's fault. Uh, not being close to the ropes. Um, um, Triple H just looked good. Yeah. He's looked really solid. Oh, and yeah, he obviously had the match afterwards, the night after with Ziggler as well, yeah. or a couple of nights after or whatever. Triple H's looking good. He's looking really solid. I mean, obviously in the Royal Rumble, he looked pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah. But he oh. looks good now. He's, look, he's back in ring shape. Definitely. Um, 
you know, there was a little bit of me that thought Dean Ambrose may have won. Yeah, a little bit of hope that. And I think the match change. was good enough to make you believe that. Yeah, and definitely. I think that's what good pro wrestlers do. Mm. They make you believe that this could happen. Absolutely. It didn't happen, but it was a great match. Yeah, except the most uh, shocking moment of the night when the ref counted three when Dean yeah. Ambrose pinned. It was like, oh, we got it, just one, and it's like, oh, god. Yeah. <laughs> so ultimately, Roadblock was very pointless and just a glorified house show. But it was a, a night of good wrestling. Mm. Apart from Brock. Yeah. Uh, Brock and Luke Harper and that Wyatt's mess. Um it was a good it was a night of very good, solid wrestling. Yep. But that is it as far as Roadblock goes. It added nothing to WrestleMania, um, it added it, it to be honest, it literally was a roadblock. <laughs> yeah. It was like a more like a like a pothole or something. <laughs> yeah, like a pot yeah, WWE pothole. <laughs> yeah. A better name for it. But it was fine. I mean, I have no problem with these network specials. No, they're great. Maybe, uh, you know, once or twice, make something significant happen yeah. for us to make, for you know, for us to actually want to tune in and watch. Hmm. We will, because we have to report on it. <laughs> but, um, you know, make us, give us a reason to believe that something genuinely could happen. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I agree. Um if you keep getting the carries on being like nothing matches on the network and people just aren't going to watch it they yeah, don't bother that's it yeah because you'll know what's going to yeah. happen so because it's, it's, it, it's just a house show yeah exactly so alright um, before we go and order pizza um, go check out <laughs> our Twitter at SunnyFinPC go check out YouTube um, and if you're watching us you already have done that so thank you Go listen to our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud, and YouTube. Um, we are on Instagram and Facebook and other places. There is Finn's lovely cat, one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so go check out all of our stuff. Uh, the links are in the profile. And yeah, thank you very much for listening. This has been episode number seven yep. of the Sunny and Finn Show. And uh, we will see you again very soon. Yes, thanks for watching. Or listening. Goodbye. Oh, before we go. Bye. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are going to do a fast lane stream. No, we're not going to do a fast lane stream. We've done it. <laughs> Rewind. A few months ago. Okay. Um, we're going to do uh, an NXT TakeOver Dallas prediction show. WWE mm-hmm. 2K16. We'll do that on the night of NXT TakeOver. So April the 1st. And then two days later, we're going to be doing our WrestleMania prediction show. And also WWE 2K16. Yep. So do come join the front on YouTube. And that's all I've got to say. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye bye.